Thanks for joining us, guys. The workout has now started. We're rolling. Legs are turning, body's relaxed, breathing's relaxed. So on these workouts, and there's gonna be a few of them to lead you on your journey um, into fitness or through fitness, we're gonna use the RPE scale, which is the rating of perceived exertion. So it's totally subjective, very personal, and it's about how you feel. So we're now into a six minute warm up, 30 seconds into the six minute warm up. Your RPE should be around level three to four. And you're gonna say, well, how do I know where I am on the three to four? And the reality of it is you're not gonna know in the first minute or 90 seconds because your body's still getting used to the warm up, getting used to the workout, getting used to the activity. So we're pedaling now, 45 seconds, we're approaching the minute, and I know that this is too easy. It's too easy for me. I can talk very comfortably, which is a really good indicator. So I'm now gonna tweak the resistance up a little bit. So three to four on the RPE scale. Give it another 20, 25 seconds, see how that kicks in. Now the RPE scale runs from one to 10. Two to four means we can converse like this forever without having to, without having <laughs> to think, to without having to think about it too much. Four to six, we're gonna be slightly more considered on when we speak and how we speak. Yeah, we'll select our words and a bit more brevity. I'm sure you all look forward to that. <laughs> six to eight, we can talk, but we'd rather not. If we're talking then, it's bursts or phrases in between help, help, oxygen, in between the uh, activity. Eight and above, silencio. You're not talking. It's all about the effort. Okay, so approaching two minutes, a third of the way into the warm up. And I'm pretty comfortable that I'm at a three and a four. Yeah, I might be under yeah, yeah, I'm probably closer to a three than a four. Am I halfway on the RPE? Probably not quite. So about a third of the way, two minutes in. So Andy, tell us a little bit about your experience and, and why you're uh, qualified to be telling people about the RPE and other things in relation to cycling and fitness. Okay, I've been a qualified fitness instructor since uh, 1989, a long, long time. And then from then, that put me on to becoming a qualified personal trainer, then becoming a qualified spinning instructor when that first uh, hit the UK, which was many years ago. And I've also walked the walk. I've uh, raced for the GB Triathlon team, Long Course World Championships, Nice and South of France. I've been a competitive cyclist, road and off-road. Competed well, won races, not as many as I would like, but I've won, <laughs> I've won a few. Um, okay. Yeah, and I've always had fitness as a core thread running through my life, wherever I've been. It's been, it's been a great companion. Um, yeah, so I kind of, I'm gonna to get too evangelical about it, but it's good, right? We all know it's good. So we're here to help other people feel the goodness, feel the goodness. So I'm not like Andy, I don't have any medals to my name or anything such uh, so, so grand, but, but I have, yeah, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. But I, you know, I've always liked to try and stay fit. And I think one of the reasons why we've decided to, to, to create these films is, is really because we want to help uh, people of any age to, to, to get fit and to ensure that there's there's content out there that that is relatable is it, it works for pe people of whatever age they are that that considers the the short hamstrings or the stiff back or whatever else you might be feeling uh, as you as you go past 40 and, and beyond uh, we've done that already I think you probably tell but uh, so just yeah just about sweet, just, just sweet past it, sweet. I think the fact is that you can carry on staying fit as you get older and one thing that seems to be uh, talked about greatly at the moment is the, the idea of strength. Okay, that's four minutes into the warm-up, guys. Now, four minutes into the warm-up. We've got two minutes left on this warm-up, and then we're gonna go into an effort, okay? It's gonna be a four-minute effort, and we're gonna turn the RP up to a five, so a halfway on the scale. So you've got that coming up. So yeah, sorry, Dom, back to you. Yeah, you know, just thinking about this idea of strength. I think when, when I was growing up, the idea of, of strength was sort of, you know, felt like you were thinking about, you know, weightlifting or bodybuilding or anything like that. Now, strength is vital, isn't it, as you as you get older? Absolutely. Because absolutely. Can you sort of clarify and tell me a bit about why it has become so much more talked about and why it is deemed to be so much more important? I think it's just, you know, as people as people age, they tend to do less weight bearing activities. They move from a less physical life to a more sedentary life. 
and this has you know consequences for the skeletal frame for your quality of life yeah. so we're really really pro on keeping the resistance training up cycling on a bike increasing resistance this is this is resistance training okay this is the resistance training and as we go through our workouts we're going to start to include some upper body stuff as well to give you that complete holistic approach to fitness but strength training resistance training you're doing it on a bike you're pushing yeah. resistance Okay, so we've got 40 seconds left on the warm up, and we're going to go up to a five. Now, one more thing to touch on now is your leg speed, your cadence. Of course, if you were to suddenly spin the legs very, very fast, your RPE would increase. So, for this workout, we want you to keep a comfortable cadence, whatever you feel comfortable at. 20 seconds. We're probably working about the 90 RPM here with our legs. Revolutions per minute, right? See, all right, 10 seconds, and then we go up to a five. So five, four, three, two, one. Sweep that resistance up. So we're halfway, Andy. So if, if, if sitting on your backside doing nothing is a zero and sprinting like you've never sprinted before is a 10, we're now right in the middle of that. Right in the middle. As I say, this is a four minute effort. Now you may not know whether you hit the five or not. It takes about 40 seconds for your body to start to realise that there's been an increased load and also for the lungs to start working harder, the heart to start working a bit harder. So I'm 30 seconds into this workout now, or sorry, into the first element. I think I'm probably a little bit light. Yeah, I thought I was and now I'm not. <laughs> Which is great. It's great. So I'm going to just tweak that up a little bit. Yeah, that's a five. Yeah. That's a five. That, that's right? a five. Yeah. So try and keep the cadence up. Yeah. Done. Keep the RPM up. Yeah. And as for your hand position, anywhere you feel comfortable. Anywhere you feel comfortable. Okay. This is a very this is a very foundation level workout. So hand position wherever you feel comfortable. Yeah. So I, th I think the other thing maybe Andy about being on a bike, either a static one or out and about, is that I used to run a bit. And if I ride my bike, either indoors or outdoors for half an hour or an hour, I don't feel it the same way that the next day. The kind of, the impact stuff is really significant, isn't it? If you're trying to get back into fitness, a bike is a good way to start. Yeah, static bike or walking. Yes, indeed, walking. Just go for, just go for a walk and find a few hills. And think about how, we talk about cadence on the bike, about RPM on the bike. Think about how you walk. Think about the speed you walk at. Walking is good. Fast walking is great. It really is. Stride length, leg turnovers, really basic activity. You don't need any special kit for it at all. Get out and walk around the block twice a week. Sorry, twice a day. Well, it depends how big the block is, of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're now over eight minutes into the total workout. We're now halfway past into the effort. As you can feel, or probably, sorry, as you can hear, our talking is becoming slightly more laboured. So I'm definitely on the, I'm definitely on the five. How about you, Dom? I'm feeling the five. I, I can feel my, my quadriceps, Good. my thighs, I suppose they are. Yeah. It's beginning to light yeah. up a bit. Then. Yeah. I'm uh, getting that slightly damp forehead thing going on. And I'm glad when you're talking, because I don't have to. Uh, so. Good. No, it's good, it's good. And one other thing I often find when it gets hard, I'm inclined to stand up in the in the on the pedals and get my get my backside out of the out of the yep. saddle. What, what's yep. your view on when to do that? Obviously you hold off for as long as you yeah, can. Yeah, I think we would introduce those into the sessions, but if you're on a five, if you want a five on the RPE on a static bike this early in the workout, if you feel you need to get out of the saddle, I'd say it's a little bit too early or you're working too hard. So support your body weight on the saddle, keep those legs spinning. So we've got 45 seconds, and then we go into a recovery cycle. So we're gonna wind it down just a notch on the RPE scale to four. So we're at five, we're going to four in 30 seconds for two minutes. So it'll be at the top end of your warm-up pace, but lower than this effort on the RPE scale. I hope that's clear. Yeah. As I say, the, the more of these sessions you'll do, the more you become in tune with your own RPE scale. Okay, so 10 seconds left on this, count you down five. 
five, four, three, two, one. Okay, wind keep it back the, ever keep so slightly. Keep the cadence uh, consistent, yeah? You keep the pedal speed consistent on it. Yeah. Okay. And what about this stuff? Uh, shall I have a drink? Yeah, hydrate when you feel you need to. If you want to adjust the hand position now, shake the arms out, it can become quite tiring. Holding your body weight up on the handlebars, but shake the arms out. That's a good thing to do. Okay, so we're 30 seconds into the recovery session, if you like, active recovery, which is obviously still an, an ele a key element of the workout. And how many of these sessions would you, I mean, obviously it depends, as we've been saying, it's all about the individual and how you feel, but you know, you're thinking about one of these a week, three of these a week? Once every two days. Okay. Yeah, once every two days. If you can, once every two days. Day on, day off. Day yeah. on, these are half hour workouts. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we're approaching 45 seconds to go on the active recovery. We're then gonna go into a three minute effort. And this, we're gonna tweak up to a six. Previously we were at a five, we're going to a six. And we're now at around about a four. So that's quite a difference. And the hardest or the, the highest on the RPA scale, scale we're going in this workout is a seven. Okay, so this is not the biggest effort of the day. It's just one below it. Got it. I'm adjusting my hand position, shaking, shaking my arms out, getting ready for the uh, three minute effort. I want to try and hold my position on the three minute effort, just let the legs do the work. Okay, 10 seconds, I'll count you down from five. We're going up to a six. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, up to a six. Still, oh, I, can, I can hear the, the tone of going. The, the tone of the wheel changed oh, notably then as the brake hit it. Cycling with the brakes on. How you keep your cadence going? Who does that? Who does that? How do you keep your cadence going so smoothly through? I mean, I've just cranked it up, and I, I'm struggling with that. I'll be honest. Maybe, maybe a little bit too high. Yeah, maybe tweak it back. You, with cadence, you really, you know, as, you, as you get older, you really have to think about that leg speed. You know, keep those hips nice and loose. Yeah, that's hump those knees. Yeah, I really noticed that. That's, that's, that's now my inclination is to get out of the saddle, but I will not yet. Follow your lead. Yeah. There'll be an opportunity to get out the saddle and that will be on the next effort, the hard effort, or the harder yeah. effort. Much okay, harder. so we're, all, we're a minute in. So three minutes. We're Set. a minute in, two minutes to go. Okay. Let's keep that leg cadence up, keep that leg speed up. Relax the upper body, relax the shoulders. Good, good. Yeah, I'm heating up now. Really? Come on, John. Get that, you need to get that leg speed up. You get that leg speed up. Okay. I can feel my my face reddening significantly here. For once, it's not due to an embarrassing situation. <laughs> Thrust yourself yes. into. It's true. That's yes. Although it could be. It could Other be. people might argue yeah, that this is exactly keeping, that. Just keeping it quiet. Not any more. Oh. Okay, we're approaching the 14 minute mark of the total workout, which gives us one more minute of this effort. So keep the leg speed up for this last minute, okay? Don't, don't start counting yourself down to 30 seconds or whatever. Go right to the change. Right, I'm gonna relax my upper body now. I'm gonna pop those knees. I'm gonna keep the cadence up. Oh, I'm right at the limit of being able to yap. Yeah, I, don't, I don't want to talk to you, Andy, quite frankly. Fine, fine. You found something. <laughs> You're happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last 30 seconds. That doesn't mean you ease off now. Keep going. Keep going. And the way I find to keep going is to talk less, but also to just think about the next block. That's it. Chunking it down is the way, right? Yeah. So we're coming up to another two minute active recovery. We're going to wind it down to a five. So we're at a six, we're only going down one to a five. So it's still going to feel quite tough. 
Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Back to a five. It's going to feel easier than the six, but not as easy as the four. Funny that. Yeah. That's funny that. Whew. Right, but definitely easier. Okay, relax the shoulders, relax the upper body, shake the arms out if you need to. Elbows get stiff, holding it in one position like that. And keep the cadence up, keep the cadence up. Yeah, Captain Cadence says, yes. Captain cadence. keep the cadence up. Yeah. Yeah, if I was on my own doing this, and I do a few on my own, I would have been out of the saddle by now. So I'm glad, and my cadence would have slowed up, I'm pretty sure. I used okay. to think I was fit and then I ride next to him and I realised I'm not. Yeah. We're approaching the 16 minute mark, 30 minute total workout time. So 16 minutes gives us one more minute of active recovery. And then we're going to the hardest effort of the day. And how long have we got on that Andy? Which is two minutes okay. at level seven. Okay. Two minutes at level seven. After the level seven, we'll go back to another two minute recovery and we jump down two then to a five. But all you need to worry about is in 45 seconds, we're going up to a seven. You're now at a five, you're now at the midway range. At a seven, you're approaching silencio. You can talk in bursts. Yeah. Okay. So it's two minutes, okay. Let's keep that leg cadence up in readiness. Relax the shoulders, shake the arms out. 15 seconds, I'll count you down with five to go. And on the seven, we do have an out the saddle option for you, Dom, okay? Thank you very much. Five, four, three, two, one. Brakes on. Yeah, that's hard. That's up to a that's seven. That's very hard. That cadence, that's keeping up that cadence to a seven. I cannot do it. It's up to a seven. And remember the cadence, <sighs> you won't feel it kicking in for at least 20, 25 seconds. It takes that time for the body to adjust to the load. When can I get out of the saddle? In 20 seconds. All right. Yes, it's hard. I'm definitely going slower than you. Okay, in 10 seconds, you've got an out the saddle option. So, five, four, three, Two, one, out the saddle. Yeah. That's nice. Try and keep the cadence up. You can support your body weight on the bars. Distribute the weight evenly, left and right hands. Oh, pump those legs. Different muscles, right? Mm, slightly. But the body will pay for it. Okay. You don't want to spend too much time out the saddle. Oh. It feels good at first. Okay. Five more seconds back in the saddle. Five, four, three, two, one. Easy transition, keep the cadence up. Keep the cadence up, keep the cadence. Too slow, Dom. It's too slow. It's too slow. Oh, come on. Story of my life. <laughs> too slow. Okay, last 30 seconds. At the hardest effort of the day, number seven. Rapid breathing. Picked up on the super sensitive mics. Yeah, 15 seconds. I'll count you down from five, and then we're going down to a five on the RPE, so back down to midway. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, okay back nice down slow to and five. Nice. You must keep the cadence up. Yeah. If anything, you better pick it up slightly. There's a strong inclination when you take the resistance off to slow the speed. Absolutely, you need to resist that. All that effort you've put in with the effort, you want to undo it by slowing down an active recovery. You want to, you want to pick yourself up, yep. get your legs spinning. We're here to ride bikes, right? Yep. Come on. Off bikes. Off bikes, come on. And for those of you who've been wondering, off stands for older, fitter, faster. Point being that as you get past 40 and, and beyond, you don't need to back off, you need to stay strong, you need to stay absolutely, absolutely. active and all absolutely. that. So that's exactly why we're doing this. 
You can watch me sweat and sweat with me while he barks orders at us. Okay, last minute on the active recovery. The next block is going to be three minutes long, back to a six. You've been at six before, it's one notch above where you are now. It's not as tough as the hardest effort, which was a seven. So the profile of this workout, it goes from a three up to a seven, and then back down again on the RPE scale. 30 more seconds. And then we're gonna tweak it up to a six for three minutes. Sound is my friend. And we relax and muck about together because also in this environment, he comes across to me, and I suspect one or two of you watching as a something of a sergeant major, which is kind of what you need. So I say that with a smirk, but you know, he's got a warm authority which you <laughs> genuinely respond to. Five seconds on I do. Up to a six. Four, three, two, one. Up to a six. No saddle, no, no. Just stay Up on saddle. To a six. We will have an out the saddle option in this after a minute. How long have we got here? You've got three minutes in this block. Okay. We're now at 21 minutes, totally lapsed time. It's flying by, Dom, it is, isn't it? It is, it is. It's it's flying it. by. Just to make everyone aware and check for myself, we've got a warm down of some sort toward the end, yeah? Yeah. You're keeping it up your sleeve, right? Keeping my legs. You it's all in my legs. It's all in my legs. <sighs> okay. Approaching the time when you can have the out the saddle option. Use it if you want. Stay in the saddle and drive it forward if you don't. So 15 more seconds. We're gonna go out the saddle for 30 seconds. It's a long time out the saddle. Okay. Okay. Five. Four, three, two, one. Up, smooth transition out. 30 seconds. Sometimes Pull it's hard. Body it's hard when you jump up. Yeah. Do you need to nudge a bit more resistance on sometimes? Because you can find you've got more weight on the pedal. Yeah, on the especially on that first jump out the saddle, you've got your body weight momentum. It's going to drive that first pedal down. Yeah. But it'll soon catch up, Dom, as you're probably feeling now. Indeed. Probably right about now. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Transition back into the saddle. And 90 more seconds at this effort. Adjust the hand position as you see fit. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's keep that cadence up. What about just out through the gaping mouth? Come on. <laughs> mouth breather. Let's go. This is good. Not much talking now. No. That's good, it's the way it should be. Well, towards the end of the workout anyway. Yeah. Okay, this is hot. It is. Okay, we're currently at six. 30 more seconds. We're gonna wind it down to a five. Active recovery. Two minutes. Keep that leg speed up. Keep that leg speed up. Right, I want you to make a mental note now. Five, four, three, two, one. Down to a five, so mid range. Right now, Dom. I want your hands low on the bars. Yeah. Yeah, I want that leg speed noticeably up, okay? So for the first two minutes, we're now into the kind of active recovery stroke warm down, yeah? We're gonna be spinning the legs out, so the cadence is up. Whatever your cadence has been, on a level five, it's a tad faster, okay? So we're gonna, and we're gonna do this for another 90 seconds, and then we're gonna keep the resistance the same, but lower the cadence. So it's not really recovery, is it? It's a different kind of... It's active recovery. Okay. Yeah, it's not... I think the word recovery gets used as a... I'm doing nothing, I can sit around. Yeah. It's all part of the workout. It's just we're working at a lower RPE than the effort blocks. Okay. But bearing in mind, we're at a five, which was an effort block at the start of the workout. 
So yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, now start to ease the cadence back to where you thought you were. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's easy to lose track, right? When you're in the yeah. middle of a, yeah, a workout, you're exerting yourself. Okay, 45 seconds. And then we're going to be into the four minute warm down. And from there, we're going to go from a five, which we are where we are now, or where you are now, on your RPE scale. Hopefully, we're all on a five. I feel like I probably are. We're on a five, somewhere near that. Good. And then we're going to go down to a four, and then reducing it after two minutes down to a three, which is pretty much where we came in the door. Right. So, 15 more seconds. And then the load's going to come off. Just a notch, just down to a four. I'm at five now, I feel that, yep. And a good way of, of knowing, certainly for myself and Dom, five, four, three, two, one. A good way for myself and Dom to register, to, to measure our RPE scale is the talking test. So, I'm down to a four now. Yeah, I'm already feeling a bit more relaxed. I'm trying to keep the cadence up. I think I'm slow noticeably then. Yeah, this feels good now. Yeah. I mean, it feels good because it's easy. I mean, is it fair to say that as you go through the walk workout, you're, because your body's really fully warmed up now, obviously, Yeah. that the four feels noticeably easier than the four did before. And Absolutely. I've got a notch on my resistance dial. I'm in the same place, but I'm finding it easier because the body's absolutely. warmed up. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. As you go on through, it's certainly a half hour workout. <sighs> Then uh, the synovial fluid going around the joints, the heart and lungs become more efficient during that workout. So it's going to feel easier. So you're more used fluid. to it. You've, also, that. you've also got that, that muscle memory. You know, the muscles are like, oh yeah, I've been here. Yeah, this is a four, I've done this. I know how this feels. Yeah. Okay, we've got one more minute at level four. And then we're going to wind it down to a level three. We've got, I want you to keep the cadence relatively brisk, okay? Feel free to wind it down a few RPM, but, but certainly, certainly no, no twiddling. All right, 30 seconds. I do want to pick your brain. Shake the arms out. As much as, as we can in this. Well, you've got 30 seconds. Yeah, well, That's all you know, we've got, we've got, in the two minutes, in the final two minutes, <laughs> I need to pick your brain. So you pick every corner. And my yeah. breathing has returned to normal yeah. almost. About the Spanish just, a, just a couple of quick thoughts on, you know, the challenges that face people. Well, as they ten go seconds, then we're going to wind down to a three. Yeah. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. okay. It's down to a three. So this is where we came into the workout. So relax the upper body. Yeah. You should be able to feel some resistance there, but really it should feel. It should feel noticeably easier than it has done for the previous half an hour. Indeed. Just, so we've got you agree with that? Yeah. I, 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 I mean, this feels, dare I say it, too easy, which I'm not saying out loud. But okay, we've got 90 we seconds, 90 seconds left of this. So just tell me, yeah, Andy, the, 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 the things that you think face bodies as they go past 40 and, and you know, that are particular to, to those bodies rather than a younger, you know, 20s, 30s, when you feel like you can take on the world and do anything. Just a quick summary of what you think is the there's the big challenges once you get past 40 and go beyond. The big challenges, I would say, continue doing some kind of uh, cardiovascular activity like this. Yeah. Continue doing resistance training. Yeah. Of any type. Press up, sit ups. No. I'm asking you a question. I'm, I'm stepping out of the. Uh... Press ups and sit ups are they're very maximal activities. You do a sit up, you're dealing with your whole body weight. Got it. You do a press up, you're dealing with your whole body weight. For yeah. a beginner or someone who's just getting back into fitness. That's really hard okay. work. So squats. It's really hard work. So, yeah. got it. Understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Look at look at what you like doing, what you can do. That's got a little bit load bearing. Yeah. Okay. And flexibility is a is a massive one. Stretching. Yeah. Stretching. Indeed. Flexibility. If you can do resistance training, cardiovascular and flexibility training in the course of a week, uh, you're cooking. You really are. Great. Okay, we're almost there. Last 20 seconds. Okay, I'm going to start to wind my own cadence down slightly now. Getting ready to think about getting off the bike, toweling myself down. Easy, Tiger. 
Last five seconds of the workout. Relax the arms. Okay, that's it. It's 30 minutes. Well, Very good. Andy, that was awesome. What a great workout. Well done. Um, well done. Very oh, good. Man. I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. Man, that was tough. That was tough. You, you took me through it there. Um, it uh, we'd love you to, to continue watching the stuff we're making here at, at Off Cycling. Uh, do like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, all that sort of stuff. But thanks very much for now. Uh, I'm Dom, he's Andy, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks.